Hey guys, today I'm gonna do unboxing of this sewing machine that I've just bought this morning. And as you can see, it's brother brand and the model is FS60X Heavy Duty. And also, as it's not a sponsored video, you can get totally objective, not biased overview from me as a customer. Also, I wanted to explain why I got a sewing machine in the first place and why I chose this particular model. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I don't know what's this. It was just on the top, let me see. I'm quite a beginner to sewing machines. Ah, okay, I know, that's a case. I think it's just a, um, well, yeah, there's some sort of a soft case, I guess. I'm like a beginner to all this sewing stuff, so I might not know something. <laughs> all right, so that's, that's the cable. And so here are some spare parts that you can replace as far as I understand. Here we go. I found some manuals. I guess that's the manuals. I really need to study them. So we've got operation manual. Ah, okay. So we've got just several manuals in different languages. I guess this is German, probably uh, French, maybe Italian or Spanish. I'm not quite sure. So also I guess some safety instructions and warranty cards, some very important documents. Okay, let's try to get the machine out and because it's pretty heavy. Okay. Ta-da! All right, so this one is the pedal because it's an electronic machine, by the way. Beautiful, beautiful. And I see there is something else here, some instructions. Also, it looks like a guide. Yeah, some quick reference guide. And you see uh, this needle and everything is protected. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. By the way, uh, yeah, so the machine uh, is made mainly uh, from plastic, but as far as I know, they've got like a metal corpus inside. So this model has quite a lot of metallic parts, but actually I can't say that it's too heavy. I think it's not bad, you can carry it. So, well, it's a good combination of plastic and metal, as I think. Also, I bought a special case for the machine. It's actually not only for this model, but for any certain machine <laughs> that would fit into this case. But this case was sold separately. It costed me 30 euros. I think it's not bad. It's pretty simple. It just, you know, the, it's not a hard case. As you can see, just a soft case, basically just, you know, to put the machine inside and to store it somewhere in a more convenient way. So let's have a closer look at the machine and some details. Here is the electric pedal. And here are some spare parts that you can replace if something is broken and maybe order something more. Now let's take it off. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, we can remove this part. There are so many stitches, like 59, oh, actually 60, yeah, because it starts with zero. So many stitches, I'll give you a closer look. So there are some basic stitches here, one or two lines, uh, zigzags, various zigzags. And uh, as you can see, there are so many decorative stitches that looks a bit, um, which one? This one is like a cross stitch, uh, at least, well, it kind of looks like it's imitating it. So, well, I definitely want to try to use it, some of this, that looks interesting. Also here you can see some operation buttons. So the first one is start and stop button. This is a reverse, uh, reverse stitch button. Uh, this one is needle position button. And this one is very important, sewing speed controller. So you have like a slow speed, medium and fast if you are super advanced <laughs> and super fast and can control the machine. So I think it's very cool because uh, it's kind of suitable for beginners like me and also for more advanced users. Okay, so how do you turn on the machine? First, obviously you plug it in, <laughs> don't forget about this. And also uh, the second step, there is a button on the side of the machine here and you just press it like this. Here we go, there is a light. Uh, and you can see like a sound here and also uh, you can see this electronic screen uh, with the programs that you can choose the programs for the stitches so also i wanted to explain why i got a sewing machine in the first place and why i chose this particular model so first of all i don't have much experience with sewing especially using the sewing machine so i was looking for something beginner friendly but at the same time 
I wanted to have a chance uh, to use some more advanced techniques in the future when I learn. So I also didn't want it to be super simple. As for the reason why I actually got the machine, um, probably you can guess from my channel that I'm into makeup and cosplay. So I do a lot of dressing up, I use a lot of uh, costumes, uh, some cosplay outfits, but I've never made them myself. Uh, maybe some uh, simple props, maybe some accessories, but not much. So at some stage a while ago, I realized that I, I want to progress. I want to try to do something myself, um, to do more DIY projects. And at some point I just realized that yes, I can do some simple stuff manually. I actually, I made some accessories. I just uh, made them and uh, so manually. But if I want to do more complicated projects, I need to learn how to use a sewing machine. Well, I, first I need to get one in the first place because I didn't have any. To learn how to work with fabric, with some accessories, materials, and well, just well to learn the process a bit more. So I had some past experience with a sewing machine. There were a couple of machines at my parents' house and I think the first one was like very, very old. <laughs> I don't think that they make them anymore. And another one I think was electronic, but again, I tried to make uh, maybe a couple of LARP costumes for role-play games. It was super simple, like a cape or a robe or maybe... Also, I remember I made a skirt. I sew a skirt, but it was at school. Uh, we had some uh, certain lessons at school. And so, yeah, I think I made some simple things and uh, I generally know how to handle it, though, I need to recall it. I need to study the operation manual again and just to remember how to use all these tools, how it works, but I don't think that it will be too complicated, especially if this machine is more automatic than, I, than the machines I used to work with. But I really need to learn a lot how to actually sew, how to make patterns, because I think it's one of the most important things when you're creating, when you're designing uh, a new costume. So I know it will take time and it will be super hard, but I really, really want it and I'm excited. So I hope that there will be enough motivation for me <laughs> to do it. And some of you probably remember that I'm living in Cyprus at the moment. And that's why it's not that easy just to go to the shop and get a machine. So they've got some machines here, but in general, it's uh, a little bit hard to import them from the mainland. Uh, usually it's expensive, it causes many troubles. And also you've got like a limited choice in Cyprus. So that's why I was looking for the options in Cyprus for quite a long time. I think it took me a couple of months to choose the model, to choose uh, the right budget and the right functions and also to find uh, the right place, the shop, find a distributor from uh, who I could buy the machine. So I found many nice models that I liked a lot, but I decided to limit myself with the budget. Technically, I could probably afford a more expensive and more advanced machine because it was a birthday present for my family and they were ready to chip in. So I'm, I'm super grateful for that. But I didn't want to spend more than 500 euros on it simply because, you know, I've got beginner skills. And if, if I use it like for a couple of months and I decide, no, that's not for me, I don't want to proceed it and, or to use it more often. I don't want to buy something expensive. Uh, I mean, I think it's okay in general to have a sewing machine at home for some, you know, home needs. Um, but I didn't want just to invest at the moment to something uh, very complicated, very professional with like embroidery and a lot of other functions. Of course, that would be nice, but I don't feel that I'm ready for it at the moment. Also, as you know, there are mechanical and electronic machines. So I definitely wanted to go with electronic ones because it's just more modern, it's easier. It's probably the same as uh, the difference between a mechanical and automatic car. You know, yeah, of course it's cool if you know how to drive a mechanical car and uh, how to handle a mechanical sewing machine, the old one, uh, you, can, you know how to do it manually. But um, if you're not really into this industry, if you just want the result, a good result, I don't think that there is a reason to torture yourself and to make things complicated. Just get a, an electronic, more automatic machine um, if you can afford it, uh, as simple as that. <laughs> so I, as I was looking for a machine for mainly cosplay projects, I was recommended to use brands like Brother, Genome, uh, Zuki, maybe something else, maybe Zinger also. And I found uh, some great models among these brands. But in the end, I was kind of a bit limited by my budget and by what I actually can get in Cyprus. Of course, theoretically, I could order it online from Amazon or from official Brother website. But the problem is that, well, first uh, you pay a lot of import fees, uh, some taxes, maybe even double taxes. So it's very difficult to predict how much 
uh, this delivery would cost for you in the end when you receive it. Um, and also, for example, if something is broken, I need to know where to go. So it's better to be connected with the actual shop, repair shop and with the distributor here in Cyprus. And as I'm living in Nicosia, I actually found uh, a corporation uh, where they sell brother products. Uh, where they import brother products and distribute them. So I decided that is a safer and more convenient choice for me. If I need something, I've got like a three years warranty and I just go to their office and get the machine repaired and get everything done without any problem. Because imagine if you order online from some website, um, like yeah, I'm not sure where I have to go to repair it. Probably to the local shop here, but again, I think it's better if you buy from them. Also, I wanted to get something that is already in stock, not to wait for the delivery. But actually, I was happy that my choice was limited because for the last past month, I did a lot of research. I asked many friends and I watched tons of tutorials and unboxing videos on YouTube and I honestly just got lost. And in the end, I realized that I probably don't need to overthink it that much. And that's when I came across this model, Brother FS 60X Heavy Duty, that's important. As I'm planning to make costumes from various sorts of fabric, including denim, fur, artificial leather, so all this sort of thick fabric, and I thought I might need um, a machine with extra protection with some additional abilities. <laughs> And they describe this model as extra tough computerized sewing machine with heavy duty metal frame for improved durability, reduced vibration and more accurate needle positioning. So, well, I hope that it will help me to deal with um, some heavy, some thick fabrics. And of course, it includes all necessary standard functions, automatic functions, as I showed you before. And besides, uh, it has like 60 stitches. That's quite a lot. Maybe I don't need them all, but it's good to have a choice. So I'll keep you updated on my progress and I hope to show more videos uh, with me using the machine, hopefully. <laughs> but first I need to study the operation manual thoroughly. You see, that's a lot. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna watch tutorials how to use it because I don't want to break it I, before I read and understand how to use the machine properly. So I hope that you will see more videos from me soon uh, about the machine and about my display projects. Thank you for watching guys and see you next time. Bye! It should be pretty... Oh, what's this? Sorry. There's something in my head. <laughs>